What is going on? Ton of Clay here, and today I'm quite excited because I have a new product. It is called the NEJE -E Engraving Machine. It's actually really cool looking. Uh, it's got a nice shiny black frame to hold the old mechanism. I don't know how well you can see this. I already used it a little bit. Um, really excited. I've already done some sort of engravings with it and it's a little bit complicated to use. In my next video I'll show you how to do that as a tutorial and yeah. It comes with some other gadgets. It comes with a manual that's kind of poorly written. Uh, you can definitely tell it was overseas but it's not too difficult to understand. You have to flip through a few of the pages. It, it comes with a packing list. It comes with a machine. It comes with the focusing glasses, which are actually kind of cool, stylish looking. So you can focus the laser. It makes everything nice and green for you. Can't really read with these on. A data power cable, which is two. It, yeah, data power cable and data, and just the power cable as well. So power with the little USB to USB and a simple USB to USB. Let's plug into the side here. Also comes with an L-type wrench which I don't have on me. That's for the uh, all the, uh, the bolts and screws on the sides to hold it together. A one gigabyte micro USB. It tells you to plug this micro SD into your computer but a lot of uh, laptops and computers, desktops, whatever don't really have a uh, micro USB spot to plug these into though turns out the micro SD contains sample images such as uh, apparently Barack Obama is the first one, a bunny a person in a bunny suit, a bunny again, some anime characters, butterflies, crickets, more crickets, something that looks possibly inappropriate. <laughs> if you don't have a plug-in for the micro SD, you can go to a website which is on the back page, page 5, which is trustfer.com. And there you just select which driver you want. There's a bunch of options and it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. But yeah, pretty solid built. Uh, the, the plate here moves forward and back and then the laser moves left to right. It's pretty solid construction. It's got really hard plastic. So everything's held together pretty strong. Uh, you got a button on the top which controls three different modes for like focus where you have the light turn on and then you can focus it with this little twist knob here on the bottom of where how tight the focus is which is important because if it's not focused enough or focused too much it won't actually burn what you're trying to burn and then you have start pause and stop I mean it, it's pretty simple uh, I've actually you have to be careful with it though whenever you're starting to engrave to make sure you have the paper on there or wood, cardboard, leather, things like along those lines that you're going to be engraving. You don't, that you already have it on here before you press this button any at all because it'll actually burn into this plastic. I've burned it a few times, at least three times, so four times. I got it from GearBest.com. I'll post a link in the description if you want to buy this product. I got it for like $74, I think, so it's a pretty good deal. There's other ones on there as well. It range from $100 to $50. This just happened to pop up. It takes about a month to get to you because it ships from overseas, from like China or the UK. And in my next video, I will show you how to use this laser engraver. And yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. Farewell.
Congratulations.